Gary Peterson here. Today I'm going to show you a standard forehand drive. Now, it's a little bit different to the other drives. As I said, there's four different drives that I actually teach. The standard drive is really interesting. I just want to recap for a sec on our forehand drives. We've got our forehand drive near the side wall where we cut around the back and it stays on the wall. Our standard drive where we drive down to the floor and we step to the front wall. Our inside slice drive where we stand up more and we drive inside the line of the ball. We've also got our punch drive where we actually really strong short swing, muscle controlled hit so you get hit to target. So you need to um, make sure that you understand there are different drives. They're not all the same and um, we're going to take a look at each individual one in turn. Today I'm going to show you a standard forehand drive. Now, it's a little bit different to the other drives. As I said, there's four different drives that I actually teach. The standard drive is really interesting. What I see is that people like to step across to the sidewall and they love to swing around their body. What I'm going to tell you is I'd like you to get rid of that. The reason is because you're driving your body this way and you're trying to hit that way. And that says that your whole back is doing all the work. You don't necessarily want to do that. What I want you to do is to hit all your forward body motion towards the front wall. If I step this way, everything is going towards the front wall and so is my shot. So therefore, the more I can open stance, now you need to be careful. If people step down the floorboard too much, they end up just pushing the wrist out and pushing out in front of their body and it becomes terrible. So the best outcome, the one that works that over many years of actual experimentation with myself and with other people and so on, is to step it around about a 45 degrees. And that gives you a good mix of the stepping to the side wall and a stepping open. So once you get hold of those two things, that you step 45 degrees, and now I want you to then drive your racket to the floor. And there's a reason for that, and I'll show you that in a minute. So for a start, we're gonna concentrate on the feet. We're gonna step 45 degrees, step towards, push your body motion towards the front wall a little bit, there and we're going to go through. Now I'm going to give you the concept of the forehand drive and why a standard drive needs to drive down to the floor. And what happens is when you actually step and you drive around your body, everything is going on a flat plane. And it's a really fat racket is generally what happens. When I say a fat racket, I mean lots of string on the ball. What I want to do is I want to create that slice. Now slice is down to the floor. Slice is not this way. If I slice this way, the ball goes up that way. If I slice this way, the ball goes that way. So when I talk about um, control, we want to cut the racket down and I want to step more towards the front wall. So it's pushing down and going to the front wall. And that gives that slice. Now you don't want to go from out here and push this way. We want to come from in here so we get the more of that rather than of that. So it's there, 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 and then you get the cut and the kill. Now the angle of swing is like a 45 degree angle through your body, rather than this one that comes from here and then comes really flat to the front wall. So it's that swing there that I want. So if I go from there, 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 you can see the action on the ball. Now what you get from the action on the ball is you get that cut that I was talking about. Now what I do is when I drive, I can guarantee you that I will actually put enough work on the ball to make the ball bind on the side wall. So it then bounces on the floor and then the back wall. What that does is it'll give you the ability to actually kill the ball. Now that slice by cutting down and killing will allow you to kill the ball and make really good position for the next shot. So from here, we're talking an open stance, 45 degrees, you cut your racket to the floor and drive your body towards the front wall. Racket stays relatively close to your body so that when you come in, you cut through and you kill. If you can actually develop that swing, develop it by staying relatively close, and then step to the front wall, drive your racket to the floor, you'll find you'll get a wonderful result through your forehand drive. It'll just be amazing for you. So our forehand drive, our standard forehand drive, which is a step over to the front wall and a cut down to the floor with your racket, looks like this. So once you put it together, once you get hold of a little bit of the swing, once you develop the system, develop the muscles, get the repetition into your body, you'll find the outcome will be fantastic for you. Remember, step open, cut to the floor, you'll get a great result.